On today's ProPresenter show brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, how to convert ProPresenter 6's output to NDI without the SDI module. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of church tech tutorials just like this one, courses, and my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, where ministry loves company. Renewed Vision's new video server software, Pro Video Player 3, PVP3, can do a lot, but one thing that's missing is the ability to do a text stream from ProPresenter. Their solution is to send NDI into PVP3 from a ProPresenter install with the Alpha Key module. Here's the problem though. As I'm recording this, you can't send a hardwired Alpha channel to the switcher and NDI to PVP3 at the same time. So that's where this tutorial comes in. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you how to set it up. So let's say that you need to send NDI from ProPresenter, but you do not have the SDI module, you don't have the Alpha Key module, uh, the NDI slash SDI module is a sub-module of the Alpha Key module. So if you have the Alpha Key module, you have the NDI SDI module, but let's say you don't have that and you don't need the alpha key, you just need to send the output of ProPresenter to something that takes NDI, like a um, like PVP3, for example, which I'm going to show you how to use here in just a second. Um, so the first thing you do, go into ProPresenter, go into Preferences, and click Enable Siphon. Now what Siphon does is it um, sends the output of ProPresenter into any Siphon-Aware software, like the software I'm about to show you. So let's head over here. This is the uh, techlife.sg site. It's got TCP Siphon if you wanted to send Siphon from one computer to the other. I've got another tutorial on doing that. But um, we also have this, Siphon to NDI. So what you want to do is download Siphon to NDI, install it on your computer, and uh, once you do that, uh, this is also very helpful for the new tech line of switchers since new tech invented NDI. So that works for you. So what you would do, download, install it, and let me show you what it looks like. Here we have it, and it's pretty simple. Um, it'll probably come up like this. Don't worry about it. Just click down and ProPresenter 6 output. That's the siphon output. So now this is sending this over the network as NDI. So let me show you proof that it's actually doing this. Um, if we go over here into PVP, I've already set up two layers. I've got um, this second layer is the siphon to NDI and the first layer is just straight siphon because it's on the same machine. So if I click here, then um, you'll notice that I have the output here. Let me disable that. Uh, I have the output. Let me head over back over to Pro 6. Clear that out to show you that I exalt the O Lord. Okay, so and now we go back over to PVP and we see that I exalt the O Lord is in fact there. So that works in Siphon. But it also works here if I 
enable this, you'll see that it still is showing I exalt the O Lord. Let me disable the layer that is, um, oops, didn't put on the target set. Okay, let's disable the layer that has the siphon output, this one, and show the layer that has the NDI to siphon output. So in PBP, just to show you, that shows up as Paul-local, Paul-7.local, siphon to NDI. It won't show up that way for you because you're not Paul, and this isn't your seventh MacBook of some form or another that you're using. No, this is in fact uh, just mine, but it'll be something similar. Um, and it should show up as siphon to NVI. You might need to also um, start up the siphon to NDI client on uh, whatever machine sees that, but you might not as well. So here we are, um, and that's there. That's what's chosen here. You'll notice a green line here indicating that that's what's here. Let me go change the slide on ProPresenter. Uh, now we're, it says I exalt thee, I exalt thee. And I go back to PVP and it says I exalt thee, I exalt thee. So if all you need is the output over NDI, let's say that um, you're using the new tech switcher, which its name is, it just left me, I don't know why. But you're using a new tech switcher and you just don't have any inputs left, then you can do this uh, without buying the NDI slash SDI module. But if you do want to use um, the Alpha Key module, then you would have to pay for that. So this is kind of a little bit of a hack, but it's something that if all you need is NDI, it's a free way to do it. This is also a great trick to use if you have other hardware that can take NDI, like a TriCaster. NDI is a great tool to send video all over the church on the network because it does it with low latency too. So I hope this tutorial got you thinking about ways to do just that. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear about my videos when they come out. If you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free, go to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, and sign up for the mini course of your choice for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity.